Well, hey everyone, my name is Chelsea. I'm with Yoga for Change, and today I'm going to be your yoga instructor. And so for today's practice, um, it's going to be like lunch break yoga. So if you have to sit at a desk for like hours at a time, um, we will end up feeling that in our body, you know, either by the shoulders moving forward, you know, maybe some low back stuff feeling tight in our hips. And so this practice will be an opportunity for you to kind of get the blood moving again, to get circulation going, and um, kind of work out some of the kinks that you've kind of built up from being stationary for a long period of time. So um, this could be used for your mid-morning break, lunch break, mid-afternoon. Um, so we're going to keep it down to around like 20 minutes. I'm actually going to set a timer because I know I want to honor and respect your time. So let me get that going. And then you make your way, if you're not already there, into your chair that you have available. Um, so you won't need a yoga mat, just the chair. And yeah, so first I'm going to sit back a little bit. But then I'm going to bring the shoulders up over the hips. So I'm coming away from the back of the chair. And then just rest your feet underneath your knees and then rest your hands onto the tops of your thighs. Then loop your shoulders up to your ears and then bring them back and then relax them down. And just get a little bit of a lift through the crown of your head and just slightly tuck your chin. So we like out the gate wanna start encouraging like good posture. And before we get started with our yoga shapes, let's take a moment to press the pause button. So. You've just transitioned from some task, email, phone call, and so we want to create some space in between that to where we're headed by connecting to our body. So let's start first by either closing your eyes or bringing your gaze down. And just bring your awareness to your feet. And just notice how they feel as they're grounding down into your floor. And then send your awareness up your legs to your knees. And then from your knees to your hips. And then notice where your sits bones are connected to your chair. So it's the the bottom tips of your pelvis touching down. And feel the weight of your body pressing down into your chair. And slowly guide your awareness up your spine through the crown of the head. And think about your hands, how they feel resting down onto your thighs. And then begin to become aware of your breath. So notice how it feels in your body. So where you feel expansion, contraction, lifting, lowering. And while you breathe, see if you can keep your shoulders relaxed down your back. So taking like deep, like belly breaths. So inhale, filling up your lungs as much as you can, and then pause for a moment. Then exhale, empty, drawing your navel in towards your spine. Pause and do another like that. Inhale, drawing in more air this time without too much strain or stress. Pause at the top. Then exhale, empty completely. Again, navel towards the spine, engaging the lower belly. Last time, inhale. And exhale. And begin to open up the eyes. And then we'll uh, move forward into our seat. So coming towards the edge, but not to like where you're gonna fall off or anything. 
and then bringing the feet back in alignment underneath the knees. Arms by your sides, turn your palms to face forward. Yeah, and draw the shoulders back. Not so much like puffing the chest, but just looping them back and down. And then inhale, reach your arms up, stretch through the sides of your body. Exhale, bring the arms back down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower the arms and you're pressing down into the air. One more time, lift up, reach up. Exhale, bring the arms down. And then we'll change things a little bit. Reach the arms up, make fists and exhale, pull down elbows by your sides. Inhale, reach, spread out the fingers. Exhale, pull down, make fists with your hands, squeeze the shoulder blades. One more time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull down. And then bring the arms into like a goal post shape. So you have your elbows in line with your shoulders and your hands. So your elbows are bent at like a 90 degree. Spread your fingers out. Take another breath in, lift through the crown of the head. On your exhale, bring the hands down and then press them back. Inhale, rotate the hands back up to the ceiling. Exhale, pivot the hands down, press back, keeping the shoulders down away from the ears. One more time, inhale. Exhale. And then release the arms by the sides. Take a breath in. And a sigh out. So maybe as you inhale, think and breathe in calm and ease. Exhale, letting go of stress and worry. Just letting it leave the body. Inhale, breathing in peace, calm. Exhaling stress and worry. And then bring your hands back behind you. Grab onto the back of your chair. So we're going to take a little bit of a back bend. First, press through your feet. Yeah, and just feel that engagement going up the legs into your lower belly. And then root down through your sits bones. Lift your heart up towards the ceiling. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. Yeah, so inhale for the lift and exhale for the opening, the arching. You can lift your chin up or you can leave your chin tucked. And then breathe into the back of your sternum. So opening up the front sides of your shoulders so that those muscles tend to get a little tight, a little bit short from arching over our devices, computers. And by squeezing the shoulder blades, you're strengthening the back side of your body. So we're kind of coaxing the shoulders back into their proper position. And release, very, very nice. And so we're gonna bring our forearms down to our thighs and just bring your palms to touch. Okay, so even here you might hunch over a little bit. So try to draw the belly down and like making a straight line as best you can from your shoulders to your hips. And just take a breath in. On your exhale, draw your navel in towards your spine. Take a few more breaths. You're also stretching out the lower back here. Okay, so bring your left forearm across your legs like this. We're going to turn this into a twist. So you're going to reach your right arm up in line with your shoulder. Yeah, and if that's a lot, you can always bring your fingertips to your shoulder and just lift the elbow up. So focus on keeping your hips and your knees facing forward. And take another breath in. And your exhale, open up a little bit more to the right. One more time, breathe in to lengthen. Exhale, gently rotate. Come back to center, bring both forearms back down. Then inhale, pull your heart forward. And then exhale, round your back, tuck your chin. Two more times, inhale, heart forward. 
Exhale, round and curve. Make space in between your shoulder blades. One more time, inhale. And then exhale. We'll come back to a flat back. And then we're gonna cross the right arm over the legs. There we go. And then we'll coax the spine to turn. And then lift your left arm up. Take a breath in. And then twist over to the left. And you can look up to your top thumb. And take three cycles of breath. And then come back through center. And we're going to sit right at the very edge of the chair, like as far as you can without falling off. And then reach your arms up to the ceiling, or you can come back to these goalpost arms. So try maybe on both, see how you feel. And then press through your feet, really engage your legs. Squeeze your inner thighs in towards your center line. Reach up taller through your fingers as you bring the shoulders down your back. Take three deep breaths. So we're starting to like really fire up the entire body here. Listen to your breath. Okay, we've got a couple options. We're gonna move into standing. So you can come out, come to standing any way that you like. If you want a little bit of a challenge, you can begin to lean forward. Lean, 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 then press through the feet. Come all the way up. Yes, here we are, cool. So I'm gonna move back a little bit. So we're coming to standing um, and we'll move the spine side to side. So some lateral movement. So bring your right hand to your hip and reach your left arm up, and then press down through the feet, reach up to the ceiling, and on your exhale, arch overhead. So really grounding down through your left foot, and then feeling that stretch all the way up your left side body to your fingertips. Keep your hips and your shoulders facing forward. Come back to center, bring your right hand down, left hand down to your hip, reach your right arm up. Take a breath in and as you exhale, shift the hips to the right and then your right arm over to the left. And breathe space into your right ribs. Come back up to standing and then bring your hand down. Let's see how we're doing, making good time. All right, so bring your hands to your lower back. So your feet are underneath your hips and then tuck your tailbone under. Yeah, so another point to focus on with posture. Sometimes we point the tailbone out or send the hips too far forward. So we're trying to find that like three little bears, neutral pelvis. So just point the tailbone down towards the heels slightly and squeeze the, the elbows in towards your center. And then press through your feet, then lift your heart up, and take a little bit of a back bend. So send your hips forward, and then bring the shoulders back behind you as you lift the heart up. Oh, that should feel real nice from sitting all day, right? So we're gonna turn back around and we're gonna start warming up the lower body. So I'm gonna turn my chair so that is facing me and I can just rest my hands on top of it. So from here, we're gonna take some hip circles. So bring weight into your left foot and just lift your right knee up and just draw circles with your knee in front of you. So you can make these small, you can make them very big. So kind of working the cobwebs out, also strengthening your core. And then change direction. And keep breathing. Notice if you're holding your breath. <clears throat> so we want the, the breath to continue to flow in and out evenly as we move. Okay, so now we're going to come into like 
a hip flexor stretch, quad stretch. So reach back, grab onto your foot. So the left hand is resting here for support and just point your right knee down. Again, loop the shoulders back and the bottom tips of the blades, guide them down towards your hips. And so notice your eyes. So if they're kind of bouncing around the room, just pick one point directly in front of you. And so with yoga, it's um, an opportunity to practice focus, concentration, by being aware of where our bodies are in space, where our eyes are looking. Okay, really gently release the foot. We're going to come into a hip stretch. So you might want to walk your feet back a little bit. Then we're going to cross the right leg over the left and just send the hips back. So you may find that's like plenty for you. You can bring your forearms onto the chair. So you pick the degree uh, of how much sensation you want to experience. And so maybe you're realizing, huh, my hips are a little tight today. So if that's the case, then you are in the right place right now. So breathe with that tension and extend the invitation for that area to relax. Kind of press the reverse button coming out the way that you came. Boom, boom. And then we'll walk the feet a little bit closer and we'll take the hip circles on the left side. So grounding down through your right foot and then begin to draw circles with your left knee out to the side. And then switch the direction, not the foot. We'll take that quad stretch. So bring your left heel towards your glute. Grab onto your ankle or your foot. Now point the left knee down. And loop the shoulders back and down here as well. Again, just showing up over and over again, practicing good posture so we can create some muscle memory. And so for the rest of your day, when you notice your shoulders are looping down and forward, loop them up and back and then down. Gently release the foot. Step the feet back a smidge. And then we're going to cross the left leg over the right. Flex your left toes and then hips back and down as you bend the right knee. You can adjust the arms. And it's really common for like one side to be more tight or more flexible than the other. And so the more that you kind of show up, do mindful movement yoga, um, you become more aware of the imbalances in your body. And it's not like, oh my gosh, it's so bad. My body's so out of balance. It's just from that awareness, then you can do what's necessary to bring balance into your body. All right, slowly lift back up and then walk your hands to the back of your chair and then bring the feet further back and we're gonna take like a downward facing dog with the chair. So we're trying to lengthen out the spine. So feet, just checking in here, the toes are facing forward. Yes, the feet are about hip width distance apart. And then lift the head so that the ears are in line with the biceps. And so we want to make as much space as we can between our tailbone and the very top of our head. So think about that for a minute. So breathe, elongate your spine. 
And then on your exhale, maintain that length and just draw your navel up and in. Empty out your lungs and then two more times. Maybe you notice that your heart can descend down a little bit closer to the floor. So option to stay here, come into ragdoll. So this is a forward fold. So you soften the knees, bring your hands to your shins to kind of ease the transition. And then just allow your torso to hang heavy. Drop the crown of your head down. If this is, you can bring your forearms to your thighs to do this. Or you can grab on opposite elbows and allow the head to release down. So with the knees soft, it's going to bring the stretch into the lower back. You can sway your torso side to side if you are dangling the torso down. And just become aware of the weight of the head, creating more length along your spine. And come back to stillness. And if you can, bring your hands to your shins, lift up halfway. Maybe the hands back to the chair, slowly come back up to standing. You don't want like a head rush, you know, and walk the feet forward. And then coming back to the chair, we'll grab a seat. This time, again, just bring the seat back, but then shoulders away. So they're over the hips, sitting up tall, feet grounded down. And we'll conclude our time with just a quick breathing exercise. So again, an opportunity to kind of make space between the yoga practice that we just did before we transition into the next thing. And so um, what we'll do is we'll count, inhale to the count of four, we'll pause at the top and exhale to the count of four, pause at the bottom and we'll do four rounds. So just rest your hands on your thighs, relax the shoulders and just take one deep breath in and then a sigh out. You can close your eyes or not. And then breathe in through your nose for two, three, four, pause, and then through your nose, exhale, two, three, four, pause. Inhale, two, three, four, pause. Exhale, two, three, four, pause. Inhale, two, three, four, pause. Exhale, two, three, four, pause. Last round. Inhale, two, three, four, pause. Exhale, two, three, four, pause. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, sigh. Open the eyes, lift the gaze, and just kind of become aware of how you feel now. Just notice if there's any difference from the beginning of your practice to this moment. And if there is, I encourage you to keep showing up and doing things that are compassionate for your body, things that will help bring balance into your day. And um, hopefully we'll see you back soon. Thank you so much.